Greetings and welcome to episode 8 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Russia campaign. And this, my friends, that we left it last time, where we have the Ottomans once again besieging Istanbul, trying to claim back what is the prize asset here for the Ottomans. Since we took it, we plunged, my friends, a couple of years ago into the operational depths of the Ottoman Empire, effectively cutting the country in two, the empire in two when we took Istanbul. Now most of the trade, most of the military supplies, most of the troops flow through or to Istanbul to other parts of the empire. That's why I decided to go for it. We really had the one chance because otherwise I knew that if we didn't take the chance when Istanbul was effectively defended only by a very very limited scratch force of troops we would not probably get that opportunity again. It would cost probably a lot more men than it actually has to take it. We did it, my friends. We actually plunged deep into the into the interior of the Ottoman Empire. We managed to take it with very few losses. But the Ottomans have responded with ferocity. They really have tried to take this back so much. They have thrown everything at us. Everything by the kitchen sink has been thrown at us here. And this is the latest installment of that sort of counter-attack. Here you can see they, they're sending in mob, um, we've got some irregulars, we've got some melee infantry, and then we've got these two, the organ gun, vicious gun, absolutely vicious if you get if you get in the way of it, and they've got some <coughs> 18 pounders as well, <coughs> excuse me my friends. But we've got these cavalry here, as you can see, uh, you can see the effect that these constant fights have had on these troops here. They are they have been worn down some of these units to almost nothing at all. As you can see, these grenadiers here down to eighty men. Uh the cavalry down to thirteen and twelve men. Um some of these units I have managed to bring back up to full spec, but as you can see still then even taken the grenadiers have held strong. But they start you know they're starting to slowly wear us down here. So if this continues, I might have to bring in reinforcements maybe from Kiev or maybe from Moscow to try and reinforce this area to give this garrison reprieve. But what we have done is drawn a, a lot of Ottoman forces from other fronts, which has given us the you know the opportunity to be able to rebuild and get our forces and get our economy up running as well. As you can see just over here as well, just in the distance here my friends, the Ottomans try to counter-attack as well by going through the Carpathian Mountains here in Transylvania and trying to strike here at Moldovia. We, we hit back, we then followed the army that tried to take Moldovia through the Carpathian Mountains, destroyed it, and in the same year we took, trans we took Transylvania uh, we took Klausenberg, and this then gives us this sort of overwatch position into the rest of the Ottoman Empire, which pretty much stretches all the way into the Austrian uh, interior. But before we go any further, let's take this fight, let's see this siege, let's see if it'll hold. We should be able to hold here, but they, they're throwing everything they can at us. So I might have to send in some more regiments down to uh, Istanbul just to hold it because it's drawing in so much of the Ottoman Empire army it really is it's giving our other units the chance to be able to, to soak up all the other Ottoman territories that are about we're also still engaged quite viciously and quite vigorously with the Swedish forces in the north St. Petersburg has been left in I have quite a powerful army there to defend that but the Swede Sweden has been trying to move forces in and around right from the very very tip of the map from the in the north all the way around trying striking down past St. Petersburg garrison but we've managed to put an army there to block them but anyway this is without doubt my favorite fort in the whole whole campaign this fort is staggeringly good to, to defend with look at this all these sort of little intersections. Look at this. You can you can fight down in here. You can shoot up here. Deploy your men up here. It is an exceptionally exceptional fort. Much much better than European fort. A thousand percent better than a European fort. So much more. These walls are as thick as you can possibly imagine. Now then, where are these Ottoman going to be fighting from? So this is their deployment zone. This L shape here, my friends. And they've got look at look at these undulating hills here. What a beautiful place. If you could part it, oh look at that, and there's the road. There is the road leading all the way through Istanbul. Right the way. 
if that's not mistaken, Istanbul is there in the distance. Can you see there, my friends? Right on that hill, that's Istanbul. This road leads all the way through up here, past this village here, up there, up the hill. So this, we are slap bang in the middle here. Now, if, if I was the Ottomans, I'd bring a ton of guns. I would situate them here, and I would just destroy the front of this fort. Luckily, they haven't done that, so we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a, a chance here of being able to annihilate this force. But we have to take out those organ guns. That is the absolute critical juncture here. We have to take out those organ guns. So we are going to do, we're going to combine our troops. Let's get them in order. I don't like the troops just being these gentlemen here as well. So these are going to be hunting for those guns. But as you can see, they have been severely depleted in the fights. The fights have taken their toll on this garrison. But they're still holding firm. In the blazes is going on here. An appalling distribution of forces. It's better. What the blazes? Untidy and unkept forces. Back into formation, gentlemen, please. Thank you very much. Now, why have we got a formation in the house? We don't need it there. Again, back into formation, please, gentlemen. Now these guns, now if I'm not mistaken, I'll put this gen general here, hide, not hiding, but, you know, out of harm's way, should we say, here behind this building. At least he's going to be protected by this building here, keep our general intact. Now these guns are going to be not critical, but they can do a, a, a steady job here. I'm going to pull them to here. No, 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 gentlemen, please. Just a little tip as well, my friends. If you if you push your, your units back into these buildings by accident, even if you deploy or you put a unit here, they can glitch out where they can actually get stuck in the building and not be any good at all. So that's a little warning there, my friends, just in case sometimes if you unlimber these and they find themselves here, they will get stuck there. So that gives us plenty of arc here to fire over. Now, what are we going to put in to position here? I want to try and keep some of these units intact, as it were. What the blazes are you doing in there? Okay. I'll have these gentlemen on the corner here. And we shall also have One of these here. 122 grenadiers. Always an exceptional unit of grenadiers. Again on the corner here. Or just here. Beautiful. Let me just make sure I can get it's more like it. Thank you, gentlemen. And we got 80 grenadiers here. Always good to have grenadiers on the wall. Excellent. We're going to try and use a scratch force here to try and hold this. Oh, look at that there. 171 we've got here. 79. I'm going to try and just fill in, not fill in the gaps, that would be the wrong expression to use. But we're going to try and use our troops sparing if we can, try and hold the wall with not a lot of men as it were. But because we need to try and keep some of these gentlemen firmly intact. The six grenadiers. One of my finest units. I think they're probably going to be the bridge between these two here. No, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Is that on the gun there? quite a bit there so I'm actually going to that's better and I shall bring these gentlemen into here where they shall just complete the line here beautiful now we should have here, these grenadiers should hold quite nicely here. And we can disperse... Oh, I might need... 
Yeah, I'll put the Novogrodsky regiment here in the middle. That's pretty good. I've got these as well. Should I need them to be able to hold, they can actually be put into position. And the back walls. I'm just going to make sure they're not going to be out of fire artillery range. We can always put them along here. We can always fill them along here as well. Actually, I might just put... Um, I'll put the Navsky Regiment just along. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I almost missed these. Look at that. I'm going to put them there. It's Nav the Navsky Regiment can actually be pulled back into the interior. Look at that. See how these buildings can really mess up your formation. If they get stuck in there, you will never get them out. I can promise you, my friends, if they get stuck in there, you will never get them out of there. Okay, let's begin this fight. Where are they? Boom, there they are. There they are. We go right out into the interior. Let's go, lads. Let's go. Oh my God, Bennett, this is going to be tough. I've got to take care of those guns. I have to take care of those guns, and I mean ASAP. Stand firm, gentlemen. Oh, look at that, we've almost... Oh, we've lost a few gentlemen there. Oh, returning fire beautifully. Steady, stay, lads. Hold with vigour. We've only lost a few. Oh, they've already broken. They're already breaking, but their tougher units are coming around the side. Yes, they're broken already. Keep firing, lads. Keep firing. Oh, jeepers creepers. We've taken a real pounding here. Let's get in there. We need to take out these guns. This ah! oh, creep is creep balls of fire. Yes. Fire will. No, 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 no. Come away, gentlemen. We don't lose any more troops here if necessary. No, 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 no. They've recovered. So we're just going to put them back. We've got rid of the organ guns as well. Come on, lads. Keep moving up. Keep moving. Cease fire, cease fire, all guns, hold fire. So that we can destroy our own walls here, which is not good. And why are you just cramped up like this? Move, gentlemen, please. Stretch out those lines. Yeah, there it is. I knew they'd be coming around the side. I absolutely knew it.
Come on, before they get into there. Please, gentlemen, if you would. Thank you. What the blazes, what the blazes. Ah, they're broken, they're gone. They've had enough. Oh my word, the defence here is just exceptional, my friends. Absolutely exceptional. We've managed to keep most of these intact. So this is where the most of the fighting is going to be taking place. I'm going to switch the... the Novogrodsky Regiment. Actually, probably quicker if I just do this. Because these are going to be following around the side here. So we're actually going to be make sure we're prepared for any eventuality. Time! We've got time to be loitering, gentlemen. Move! Let's move. I want those defences completely covered. Move! Get those steps, move it. I'm trying to drag them in here, but these are tired now, but it's fine. What are these doing? I have no idea. We can tire these out running. Stretch out there, lads. That's a beautiful position. Beautiful. <laughs> they try and pull the enemy around. So what we are going to do is we're going to go right around here. We're going to try and bring these into the battle as well, otherwise they're just going to be loitering about here. We can give them a good volley from these now, it would fall beautifully into position for us. They're already shaken, so they're going to break instantly. It's just these we need to bring in here. Oh, these grenadiers have sacrificed a lot here to defend this. <laughs> Beautifully done. We're going to take these here and we're going to try and bring these into the... There it is, there it is. <laughs> oh, what a shot that was. This is our city, and it shall remain in Russian hands. Here they come. Oh, look at that. That has blown a hole in there like you would not believe. <laughs> Keep firing, please, gentlemen. Do not cease fire. That's a beautiful 
site. And they'd come back over there as well to drag these in, I think. Are they coming back? Yes, indeed they are. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful sight. That's more like it. Fire those guns, please, gentlemen. Fire those guns. <laughs> they've gone I'm not sure if they disappeared or just disappeared into the brush here but if these can come back they're going to get a real hiding are oh, they gone for good I mean they're routing, they're off there they are begin to fire up Oh, they're routing. Yeah, they've had enough. There they are, there they are. Oh, and there as well. <sighs> oh, look at those shots. They Oh, they're shattered. They are gone. They're routing. They've had enough. Yeah, they've had, they're, they're, they're gone. Just these gentlemen now. If these can, if only we can break these. And they come back trying to retake their capital. Not going to happen this time. Then we're going to reinforce. We're going to reinvigorate this army again. Then bring it back up to full reinforcement. I do love these four battles, especially when they're like this, because it's just. You know, the enemy just throwing themselves against you and you can just try and hold on. Especially against these depleted sort of regiments. They're routing, they've had enough. I believe is that. Yes, we did it. Heroic victory. That's what I'm talking about there. What a beautiful fight that was. That's what we needed to do, my friends. To hold there, throw back another force. Look here, we lost 54 men. They lost 1,217. That's what we need to do. We need to bleed the Ottomans dry here. 164 kills. Grenadiers did exceptionally well. All three regiments of Grenadiers did phenomenally well. That's excellent. They've got... Oh, look at the size of that force there. Good grief. Oh, oh yes, we've got drill school up. That is going to be a... Hugh, whoa! They have brought everything they've got to this one. Holy smokes! Look at this here. Yeah, that army as well. Jeepers Creepers, they're coming for us here. Big time. Look at that. That is a monstrous army. My word. Oh, yeah. Plus one to read. Industrial. Okay, I need to get some. What have I got coming in here? Oh, 3118. I'm going to put together uh, some more troops in here. I mean, that's, that is completely out of my depth at the moment, that is, to get that back up running. We're not here for that. We're here to disrupt and destroy the Ottomans here. Look at this. This force here is done exceptionally well. And they're fairly happy with us here. 
risk of foreign occupation still, you know, still quite high here. Keep this army here. We've got our allies here on this flank, which is protecting us quite nicely here. So we've joined up with our allies effectively. We now have these regions all connected together. And but I mean, look at look at the look at these armies here. Look at that, Vien that army there in Vienna. That is look at oh, look how experienced this army is. This is the one. This is the army that's led the Ottomans all the way to the to well, to the doorstep basically of Prague. And we've also got Hungary here as well with these. I need to try and cut off these forces here somehow. They've even got an army in here as well, but they're going to be coming straight for Istanbul again. Oh, look at that. They're almost back up to full as well. That is a beautiful sight. Oof. Not too bad, not too bad at all. We're actually bringing this garrison up to quite a nice strength here. We are going to be attacked. They are going to attack this region here without a shadow of a doubt. We are going to be stretched pretty much. Luckily we got that open there. But the Swedish, Sweden is really starting to pile on the pressure here. And look at these. Look at those forces. That is a scary amount of forces. Look at these here. Holy smokes. But wait a minute. Where the hell did you come from? Time to deal with that, I think. Cheapest creepers. Where the heck did he come from? And we're going to move up to here. This army, yeah, yeah, this army did take a little bit of a beating, but we st we're in good order here. We're in good shape. We've th I'm going to throw back, as you can see, they've turned around. They're just throwing militia units into here now. This is where they've been coming on. They've been coming from Sweden, crossing into Karelia here. And that's when we've been our problem. We've managed to put a block onto this now, so we've put a blocking force here, which pretty much covers all of this. Um... St. Petersburg is well and truly held. I mean, look at the force we're holding St. Petersburg with. But they don't have any... any settlement fortifications at all around here. I would like to get it, but that's out of the question at the moment. I wonder if we can get peace with Sweden. Just... see where they, they might be. I might give them a safe wedge formation. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That is what I am talking about now. Now we got peace with them, but I'm not going to at all. Not one moment am I going to take my eye off the ball here. In fact, it'll give me time to, to build this army up into quite a potent force. And that's why I'm sending these up here. We might even strike down into Sweden ourselves. All the way down here. Stockholm will be very well defended. Look, I mean, look at the, look at the reinforcements, look at the fortifications they got around here. We might even be able to go for Christian Norway. That's a long trek, though. I mean, that is a long trek to get there, but... We might even be able to look at taking out Norway if, if they start war against us again. Uh, oh, look at that. Can we... We could get trade, maybe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not a chance of military access. Not a chance. <laughs> I'm afraid, good sir, that will not do that, I don't mind doing. Why do they want military access? too happy about that at all. What about... Yeah, but they get Military Academy then with that. I don't, don't want to do that. I have to reject that, I'm afraid. Uh, let's see if France would be looking to trade with us. Ah, indeed. 
Anyone else along the smaller nations? Nope. Unfortunately, we'll try again with Sweden. We'll try again later. <laughs> I'll just quickly check who Poland are at war with. Are they? Yes, indeed they are. The Ottoman Empire. So I do want to keep these as friends. So technology... I'll give them a military syllabus. Only because I want them to be strong enough to be able to take on Prussia, who are not too friendly with us, but it'll also give them a chance to hit against the Ottomans. Now, the Ottomans are going to attack us again right here. Look at the size of this force. It is as scary as you can imagine. Okay, let me have a quick look anywhere else. I've got some troops forming here. Uh, we've got some troops down here. Oh, look at the Kiev army. Look at that. What a beautiful sight that is. I think it's time we left Kiev because holding this army here is not is not going to serve any benefit at all to the to the Republic. Oh, I think we're going to start sending these troops. I think we're going to try and hit Bulgaria here and take Sofia. I can possibly even reinforce the Istanbul garrison, but at the moment we're going to head away. Well, we'll just cross the river to start with. We'll just cross the river. We do have all the lanes and all the the regions quite quite locked down here. So we've put this army in place here. It's going to block any movement up this way. I'm not going to put anything here. I'm not going to fix anything here at all. There's no point because all they'll do is keep on raiding it. They're bringing troops up from here. This is where their main focal point is, Athens. If I could even just sneak around and take Athens out, but then again I need to try and block any reinforcements moving through. How is our research doing here? Okay, so we are actually progressing quite well here. Socket Bane, it's going to give us Military Academy. Oof. It's going to give us Heavy Cav. And two lots of general bodyguard. Well, army board. Army board opens up horse grenadiers even. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Look at those riflemen there. That's some beautiful troops you can get. Okay, let's end the turn, my friends, and let's see what comes. Hang on, we're just two seconds. Let me have a quick on my trade here. Spain is being blockaded once again, and Prussia too. Okay, let's end the turn. <laughs> Expect the Ottomans to be attacking us at Romalia for definite, my friends. Absolutely guaranteed that they will attack us here. I'd be very surprised if they don't. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Nicely done, France. Nicely done, France. Spain, leave your troops in place. Prussia, look at that, that's huge. They're fighting vigorously against the Polish. Now I have given the Polish some technology. Hopefully they're going to use that. Here we go, here we go. Get yourselves ready, because this is, could be a huge fight. They'll do it right at the end here. There it is, bam! opportunity to intercept. No, that means I've got to come out of the fort. Do they have any cavalry? They do indeed, but he's been hit quite hard actually. These, this is not a full army. A decline attack. Don't tell me they've given us time to be actually reinforced this. If they have... No, they're going to hit us with everything they've got here. No! I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Ah, now Sweden are backing away. Now, guess what? You go and take your fight somewhere else, Sweden. Still trying to steal our technology, it would seem. Have the Ottomans finally given up there on Istanbul? I'd be surprised if they have. I don't think we've seen the last of that at all. 
and the Mugahal. They are strong indeed. Strong indeed. And Georgia have been good allies in the east. Oh, for goodness sake, Spain, deal with it. Pirates. What are they up to that's taking so long here? Excellent, so we've reinforced Romalia. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Ah, new town. What are we coming in? 2614. Why, why, why is our trade so small here? Prussia and again there. That's why. Look at the army upkeep. Cheap as creepers is swallowing a great deal of our trade. I think. We'll have a craft workshop. Bring in the money. Uh, 500, 300 per turn. I beg your pardon. We've got quite a lot of. We've got quite a lot we need to do here in terms of bringing up some of these. But the only way we're going to do that is to conquer more territory from the Ottomans now. I just want to come this side of the river here. We do have this army here. Now, how are we doing here in terms of this army being brought up to scratch? Almost there. Just one more unit here will actually bring us up. That's, lot, that's quite cheap, actually. Probably another cavalry unit would be better for us. As our strike force outside of the walls. do those yet but those can be brought up look at that we're bringing this garrison up to full now so it's soon going to be right up to full spec here and then we're going to be ready to deal with any of these coming in but if they hit us with all of these whew, that will be a fight and a half i can assure you cheapest creepers my friend this is they are throwing everything at us here every single thing they've got they still don't like us here but we're still we've got almost bringing this under control eventually But this army hopefully is going to hopefully just break into here and s sort of bring this front line all into one solid place where we can sort of we can you know help each other. We can bring in the forces if we need to. Yeah, this is where most of the fight is going to take place. And thankfully, I can't build, get that back up yet because that's going to cost 1,666. That's so much money. And. There's no point in setting that up to there yet, is there? I might as well make use of this. I might as well send this to reinforce an army somewhere. Or, unless I leave this up here ready to attack Sweden, should they get new ideas above their station next time. Who is it? Ah, these. This is the gentleman that needs replenish 608 there. Then this army will be ready to fight and engage should Sweden start on us again. Is Poland getting smaller here? Or I don't think it is. That's a nice army there. It's a real nice army there. But Gdansk has been taken back. Okay, let's just help out our... Oh, look at this. Sweden. Let's see if we can get some more trade with Sweden. Just a... Why do they want military access for 10 turns? I 
Alright, if you want military access, then I'm going to demand military access as well. <laughs> Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Oh, Corland. They're very friendly. Ooh, I can't go for them, they're protectorative. That, that's not very good at all. Um, okay, I can expect quite a battle to go on here. That's that's going to be a monstrous battle. Let's have a quick, just a quick look here. Now, have... Have the... Did it, whoa, they took Baghdad back. So the Ottomans have actually pushed the Georgians back. I believe they had Baghdad. Look at that, they've taken it back there. Wow, what a fight that must have been. Holy smokes. Which means we've got to be careful. So, what we are going to do... Because we want to... We, we can't really send forces this way. We're going to help the... We're going to help these gentlemen here with... Socket. Let's get them up to there so that we can, they can hold this flank for us. Because otherwise the Ottomans will roll over them. Because they can still generate a lot of forces, the Ottomans. A lot of forces. Because they've got all of this still here. We're cutting into it, but not very... You know, this dig still do a lot of damage. And I need to build up a bit more of a force as well. So what have we got coming? 2614. They don't like us down here in Romalia at all, do they? Look at that gentleman there, just this good grief. That is a staggering look at him. He is absolutely top of the line. His management skills are exceptional. The treasury is well looked after here, so... Absolutely brilliant, brilliant minister to cabinet we got here. If only Spain would open up that trade there. And, mind you, Prussia's been hit pretty hard. Where they've been hit by... Ah, uh, Corland. That's a bit of a swine that is there. Okay, let's end the turn. Let's see what crops up here anyway. Let's just see what happens. Great Britain. Gotta keep an eye on Austria as well. Austria seem to be holding their own for the meantime. They haven't gone yet. They did briefly take retake some of their own. That's right, that's it. Keep your troops in that port. My word, that's a huge army. These are huge Prussian armies here. I just hope that Poland can hold against them. Ooh. Here we go. This could be a big battle coming up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're withdrawing. He's withdrawing to the interior. This is going to give us a chance to really hammer home our advantage here. Don't do it. Don't do it, Sweden. That's right. You just go after your enemies. Stealing our tech. Who is Sweden at war with apart from... is they've come back I think my friends are going to auto resolve this one because there's not really point in fighting this one again if the bigger armor comes in the army then I will do that I'm going to auto resolve this one yes of course we lost 408 448 men that's a bit more than normal but yes they've gone they've gone ah look at that Romalia beautiful so These can all be brought back up 
pretty easily to be honest with you. Yeah, these are... oh look at that, I took a bit of a beating there, didn't it? So actually it's not as bad as I, th it was in I initially thought. 624, what about, what's our income like? 2794, two excellent. And I think we're going to punch a hole through here. It's hard here. Let's go for Sophia. Yes! We got it, my friend. Look at that. What a beautiful sight. Bulgaria captured. 160 and bring this up to full here. Ooh, look at that. An iron mine as well. Very nice. Let's invest in that. And what else do we have here in this army that needs replenishing here? We can't bring that up yet. Everything else is coming back up. Should be up to full spec pretty soon here. This is the only grenade unit that will be no brought. And we've got a full army here ready to strike. This army struck at Sophia. We've got basic roads. We need to get cobbled roads in some of these. We need to start bringing some of these roads up to... Up to proper spec here. What's the infrastructure? Uh, yeah, just here. So I'm going to bring up cobbled roads up to here. Probably get this iron mine as well going, which will bring in 700 additional region wealth. This army is going to come down for us, I can guarantee it. That will then give this army here. Yeah, they're almost going to be. They're almost going to fall under our influence completely here. Which is good for us. That's something we definitely want to look at. It's probably bringing this army here down and probably striking at Belgrade. We're going to try and cut off and pinch off this here. So we can head for Belgrade and hopefully take Bosnia. This will cut off this sort of tip of the nose here of all of these forces here in Vienna and in Hungary here as well. Wow, someone's fighting Bavaria pretty hard here. Jeepers creepers. Could be the Ottomans actually hitting. Yeah, someone's in a. S Whoa, they're under siege here. Bavaria. They're at war with. Pra Whoa, blimey, Prussia. Looks like Prussia's probably hit them pretty hard then. Oh no, it's France. <coughs> wow, France is going to be cut within touching distance here of the Ottomans. So we could be dragged into the uh, some of the Western wars pretty sharpish if we're not careful. And they've brought that under control here. Or have they? No, not yet. So Georgia probably is going to need reinforcing here. So to help Georgia out, we are going to again send them some technology. If we give them fire by rank, I think. That should help them no end. There's our missionary, so we need to know what's going on. Zagreb. I want to see what's going on down here. Absolutely nothing. They've drained all their forces to either hit Istanbul. This, this is the real price here. If I can take this, this would remove... This would remove all the facilities for them to build a lot of troops. They would still have Ankara, but Greece is where they're producing the remainder of their troops that are actually assaulting us. I can't actually build anything yet, but we're slowly getting more and more trade in. Anyone else we can trade with, I wonder? Let's have a quick look here. Ooh. Come on now, Sweden. You want to trade. <sighs> I tell you what.
but socket being it. Why do you want military access for? All your forces are come pouring over. Not a chance. I'm not giving one of my one, a, a nation that was enemies with me just a, not too long ago any of their other technology that's going to help them. Let's end the turn. Look at that. We've now got a strong army up here in the tip of the north here, which is absolutely fantastic for us. Ooh, France are going somewhere, but I'm not sure where. But wherever it is, they're going to get a walloping. Could be up to here. Oh, th oh, thank you, Spain. <laughs> Looks like the, well, the Polish might have just beaten back quite a large force there. Oh, come on, Poland. Come on, hold it together. Here we go. They're moving back. They haven't really done anything with that. I could potentially build another army in Romalia and you hold Romalia with a small garrison, maybe about five or six re regiments and then send that army out and really do some damage to the Ottomans, oh, that's what I need to do the pirates seem to be doing quite a bit Look at that. Two points per turn for military technology. Wow. Bavaria destroyed. Holy smokes. Plus winter morale and battles. Now, let's have a look here, Bavaria. Yes, I thought so. France. Look at France. France are really stretching their... They are stretching their... You know, flexing their muscles here. Jeepers creepers. Who are France at war with? Britain. Oh, Bavaria have gone anyway. Sweden. Looks like the Ottomans have finally brought some of these under control here. Oh, and they're raiding now the Austrians as well. Doesn't look too good for the Austrians, is it? I think I'm going to deal with this. I'm not going to be able to make it back to there, but I can always take it off these if they come for it. It's not a problem, but I need to, to rid that. I can always come along and retake this. Oh, look at that. these up here. I'm afraid not. These are almost <coughs> up to full here. Let's bring that regiment up because it deserves to be there because it's held on for so long. 
try and get our a little bit of our economy up and running. Get these gentlemen here. Who is it that needs replenishing? This cavalry unit here. That's now a full stack army, ready to almost roll. I will roll as hard as I possibly can into So this region is pretty much open to attack, but I'm going to probably lose Klausenberg because this army will probably just come in and try and take. Will will take it. But I'll take it back quickly here with the fight if I have to. Afraid of a fight, that's for sure, my friends. Oh, four, nearly five thousand here. Our trade is absolutely jumped through the f through the roof. If only we can get trade here with Sweden, it would be fantastic. <sighs> what the hell? I'll do it. Oh, that's a nice jump there in trade. Blimey, Charlie! Well, I've got to keep an eye now where Sweden go because they they've got a lot of troops they can send around here. And Jeepers, creepers, great balls of fire. Look at that there. That's where they'd sent that army right up to here. That's a monstrous army there. I'm glad I put this in place. Blimey. That was a that was a call I needed to make there because this army was heading up here to hit round here. Oh, damn, they got some monstrous armies. Okay, let's end the turn. Great Britain. That looks like France have withdrawn. Spain, leave your troops there. Prussia. Come on now, Poland. Stay firm, stay strong. Creepers they're building a lot of units there. Oh, they're withdrawing. I don't believe it. They've given us time here. See, they're sending all of these units. Jeepers Creepers, that's a full stack army right there. They're starting to build like, some serious forces around this region now. And my supply lines are starting to be stretched now. and invest in some of my economy now. How is Georgia doing? Hopefully, hopefully we can keep the Georgians strong here. Those pirates seem to be doing quite a lot of work. Ah. Even better, 6931. Maybe I can invest some of this money in my economy, but I do need to try and get another army up here if possible. Let's move back into Transylvania. As soon as that's gone, I move this army out. Right. Now then, my economy. These would bring in a lot of wealth. Um, let me just have a look at this, some of the... maybe... 
Academy right here in Kiev. Start upgrading some of these as well, I think. Military Academy here. I can't really afford that yet in Romali. I need to make sure my see the economy is okay at the moment. It needs to be built 2000 here. Any of these smaller ones? Let me have a quick look at my. Until the Military Academy is built, I can't really do much. That's great, I can get that then, so that's two turns. And uh, we're researching here <coughs> in Ryazansk. Explosive shell. Which would definitely be a bonus for us. Uh, 1,800 here. I will start investing in my mines eventually, but I'm just going to check these smaller regions here just to make sure I've not missed anything. I should be getting these up and running eventually, but I will once I've got money to spare. Ah, they're building up that as well. Okay. Nothing else here we can do. We could get this up in Romania up and running, but that's a lot of money to spend. I can probably put I'm gonna put it in Kiev just in case Romania falls, I would then be giving the Ottomans a military academy, which is what I don't want to do at all. I don't want to give them anything at all. For example, one of these was to fall, or they would take this, they would get a military academy, and I don't want them to have that at all. I think I'll take this force out here. <coughs> I can start driving. As soon as this falls here, I can then start driving into the interior here of the Ottomans here. I can start taking all these armies out here and just picking them off bit by bit. Maybe even head for Athens, which would be a real bonus for us. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to start putting together another force. But it's going to have to be here in Kiev, out of the way of any fighting. Okay, my friends, let's end the turn. Might be my last possible turn here before we get military academy here. What I don't want to do though is have the military academies too far away from the front line. I need the front line to be probably military academy here. And the min reason I have that here is because, of course, our proximity to Russia, uh, to Sweden, beg your pardon. If I can get a military academy here, it means I can start putting out some pretty nice troops here right on the border of Sweden. Um, and that's going to give us. We sell, I wonder. Any technology? Sweden are friendly with us now. Can we get peace with the Ottomans, I wonder? Indeed! Well, well, well. And I wonder if we can get a trade agreement with them. Okay, I'll do that. Now they're still hostile. But we've given ourselves some breathing space here. Ah, <laughs> Oh, I like it indeed, my friends. Now they know what was coming. So basically what I've been able to do now is give myself some breathing space here. To be able to build up my forces. Build up my economy and really solidify my hold on these regions. Like I can build up this this iron mine now eventually and get up some more money. I can then start investing in the mines here around these regions here to br to brick my economy right up. So 1,800 would bring up that. 
I can start really, really peppering up my economy, which is what I need to do. So now I'm going to hold where I am for the moment. If the Ottomans start, you know, trying anything again, I'm going to be ready for them. I can bring this up, port up, the trading port can be brought back up. All of these can be rebuilt. I can get my economy solidified. I can even start building another army here as well in uh, Istanbul. I can finally invest in this military academy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Nearly 10,000 per turn. Trade with anyone else because we're trading with pretty much all the major nations here. Any of the minor nations? No, not yet. Persia we're very friendly with. Georgia we're exceptionally friendly with Georgia. They really do like us a lot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh no, that's right there, okay. Can I give them anything else? Any of the technology? No, give them wedge formation. I want them to be still fighting against the um against the Ottomans. I still want that. I will still want them to be fighting against the Ottomans down in this region here. Because that means the Ost Ottomans have to draw forces away. They m the Ottomans might even focus now on, on, pr on Austria, finally. Okay, let's end the turn. The geopolitical situation in this, my friends, is is absolutely out of sync here. We really is everywhere. It's just like the waves just, you know, washing back and forth. You don't know which way they're going to go. But my word, France has absolutely stretched, you know, really flexed their muscles hard here. Russia is. Wait a minute. Have, have, the, have the Polish just taken the region off the Prussians again? They're withdrawing. <gasps> Where did they come from? I might be able to get a fleet up and running as well. Holy smokes, that would be fantastic if I could do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Sweden. Don't even think about it. Yeah, you just you just go back, you go backwards. Might give me the breathing space I need now. I can invest in my economy with some you know with some time. I get myself up quite nice I'm going to get some of these oh look at that Georgia Georgia is now starting to come back into the fray a bit oh, Barbary States again is going to make a dent in our trade in our trade income Is such a nuisance. See, look at that. Okay, excellent. Okay, now we're going to invest some of our economy. That's going to be held firm there. Um, I think we will get this trading port up and running here. This is going to be repaired. Clearances, yes indeed. Let's bring that up. Military Academy. I think we can do that. Probably not this turn, but next turn we shall do that. Um, let's make sure we got everything here. Oh, uh, infrastructure here. Cobbled roads. Why isn't this? Oh, ah, that's why. They're still waiting to be replenished, but I'm hoping we've done enough damage to the Ottomans where they are going to be able to really do very much. I'll actually, do these minefield down here. This 1,200. That's on the front lines. We. I think I can do these just here. These are a little bit safer for the moment. And I 
could possibly do that as well next turn as bring this Weaver's Cottage up to scratch. Nothing else, I don't think we can build it. Oh, they're up and running. They are up and running. Look at that army there. I'm actually going to destroy that building and bring it something in bright, bright, bright. It's going to cost me more, cost me less to build a brand new building. Okay. Anything else along here? No, not yet. One more turn until we can start bringing these up. I think I'll do one more turn, my friends, and I'll end this episode. But we have just about managed to. Oh, I can bring this up as well. The craft workshop here. And we split that army up. And they're now starting to really recruit hard here in Athens. What I'm going to do is just going to move my gentleman up to here, this spy here, this rake. I'm going to bring all of this up to full, so we're going to start bringing in. And also, our trade here is opened up. 5372. I need to get this tax income up really nice and high. Let's end the turn. Just hope the Ottomans stay away from us long enough. Austria, are they going to hang on? Are they going to hang on? Spain at large, just Spain, leave your troops there. Poland. Looks like Poland is starting to reinforce. Quite heavily. They all want that technology. Sweden, what have you got in Stockholm? A, a military alliance? Uh, yeah, why not? Of course, who were their allies? Who were their allies with Ottomans? And who were their enemies? Denmark and pirates. Yeah, why not? I'll take that. It definitely secures our flank anyway. Yeah, why not? I'll take that. That means I can move that army up the sip in the north back around and I can be used to strike against the Ottomans, don't yes, well done, Savoy. Georgia. Come on out, Georgia. Now we've got a military lines with Sweden, which means we can now... Oh, yes. Even better. Oh, look at that. 6523. 5261 coming in there. Okay, so this army up here is now going to be redeployed elsewhere. So we're going to actually bring it, moving it down into St. Petersburg to start with. It's then going to find its way, start moving up to this front here. We're going to have a spare army on this front. Now, we can invest... Ability. One second, my friends. Let's have a quick look here. Still that. I'm then going to invest in the military academy here. Then again, I need to get this up and running as well. Um, actually, I might as well just scrap it and start building from. Then again, that'd be the wisest. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna it's gonna cost me less to actually put that into position in a place, build my own from scratch. Um, here I'm going to put a military academy in place. And now we're gonna 
start investing in these farms. But I think I'm going to do the interior here, the farms, starting here in Moscow. Bring all our farms up to what they need to be, and we can't build any more here. We made a start anyway. So we, while we got this reprieve, while we've got this uh, low in the fighting here on the front against the Ottomans, and the Ottomans are still hostile towards us. So if you, I'll give you a canister shot if you give us that. <laughs> yeah, they really don't like us at all, do they? But I'm not going to attack them yet because they've got allies and I want... And this army here actually could be also moved into position because... I can probably... I can actually walk this through my... I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave... I'll take these gentlemen out. They're actually going to be moving up to the frontier here, up to the up to the front line here. Yeah, we're well under control here. I'm going to start moving troops into position. And we're going to move these all the way down to here. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. And friends, please, your comments always, always welcome down below. We have finally, my friends, finally managed to get ourselves a lull in the fighting here on this front. We've managed to solidify what we've taken. The Ottomans have sort of withdrawn. And they're now moving their troops around. And we are starting, finally, to concentrate on our economy. And our economy is what we need to really get things ramped up here. Especially with our tax income and that. We need to really start pushing that really, really hard. Um, our trade has always been hit. If only the Spanish trade would be left open, we'd be fine. Um, and actually, they've taken Braslau here, so... Are they still at war with the Ottomans? Yes, they are. So Austria, I'm going to help Austria out just quickly before I end. I'm actually going to send them... That. Maybe to help their economy. Actually, they're taking a hit here as well. But still, my friends. Anyway, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please comment, like, subscribe. Please keep your comments down, coming down below. And there will, after the second episode of this um, Russian campaign, there will be a brand new uh, Let's Play, a Total War Let's Play. But it won't be Empire. It'll be a brand new Let's Play. But I'll explain more next time. Or I'll just you can just upload it, my friends, eventually when it's done, and you can see then what it is. But I hope you've had a good week. I hope you've had a good weekend. hope you've had a good start to your week. Until next time, my friends, we're going to promise you possibly some major battles against the Ottomans because we really have pushed the boundaries now, pushed ourselves quite far into Ottoman, what was Ottoman territory, which is now firmly in Russian hands. We're moving our forces down to consolidate what we've taken. And until next time, my friends, we're going to promise you some more events coming our way, I think. But until then, my friends, bye for now.